Hey guys, so recently I've had a lot of thought about what to do with this wood down the side of my garage. I've thought a lot about what to do with all this spare wood, and a lot of it seems to be trash, so we're going to have to throw it away, but there is something we can salvage, and that's a lot of these holds that you'll see. I'm going to transform all these holds into proper functional pull-up bars in my basement. On this ladder here from the old playground, you can see four climbing holds. Those would be perfect to test my grip strength on, as well as making myself better at pull-ups at the same time. We've got a few, few of these green bars, now, and those will be see, great for pull-ups too. We've already got a bunch of different grips, a stand, more types of grips, and ways to really make the bar swing for uh, some extra challenge. Then we've got the stabilizers, and more types of grips that we're gonna rip off this ladder. Now, initially, I was just going to make a whole entire pull-up stand, but why not, because I've been given permission, get all of these different types of grips and just attach them in the basement somewhere. But to first attach them to somewhere else, you need to disconnect them. Now, first of all, if we're just attaching these holes in the basement, we won't need these bars, but they'd be great to make some personalized dip bars in the future. And I guess it goes for these pieces of wood as well. These were gonna be, so it could actually give me some height off the ground. And I guess it won't mean these because we've already got the structural integrity of the different beams in the basement. Now we've basically got this left. We've got a couple of these longer type of bars that used to be for monkey bars of my old play fort. I'll try and get a picture of that. I couldn't find a picture. And we've got these, which used to be handles so you could climb up the ladders easier. I think these would be pretty good for standard grip. And also, they've got little ridges for your fingers, which is perfect. And we've got these different types of rigged in carabiners, which I think these rigged in carabiners would be great for a little chain. We've got two more of those carabiners here. And look, there's already a chain link attached. So that's the idea. And if we attach two of those carabiners to each or one each side of pull up bar, then it would swing for more difficulty. Then we've got these. Basically, I think it would be good to practice different type of rock climbing grip because they have awesome backs and this is how you'll get the definition with these different types of holds. And the grip strength will be crazy. Let's start with this ladder here. Now, this hold right here just won't unscrew. I've got the perfect grip, but I think the inside's been shredded. Obviously, you probably won't be able to see that from there, but the inside's shredded. This turns around, and on the other side, there's no way of unscrewing it because these are dug in. thought about getting something to go here, just hammer it out, but obviously that won't work because they're screws, not gigantic nails. So what I think I might do is just try to break this. Maybe I can unscrew the sides, but I just try and break down the middle and get this undone. Maybe we'll come back to it. I'll think of something. Now, this one's discon or not attached like all the others, so we're just gonna start off with this grip. And everything's so rusty. That's a little more difficult to actually get. But this one's coming out pretty fine. There you go. 
Oh, that's one done. Now, realistically, I don't need both of these undone because. Oh, wait. No, I need this one undone because these are the same size. I need a wrench. Found the perfect wrench. Two done. So before I do anything, I'm just gonna make sure that these carabiners actually work. Cause I don't got too many lying around. Be nice if they were just much easier to undo. There you go. Yeah, those will fit perfectly. Now, I just need to find a way to get this off. Well, uh, it says it was size one half. Perfect. Now the only thing is, will those be good to fit into holds? Because maybe on a structural beam, I think it should be able to support my weight. And if I dig that, just this top part where it actually has the shreds, then I just have this at the bottom hanging in. One on the other side. Should be good. Maybe I won't need two of these beams, but I'll get all these others dis disconnected just to be uh, ready. And try not to lose the uh, nut and washer. Um, yeah, that was probably the easiest to disconnect of all of them. We got four of them here. And I think I know where these came from, from the old play fort. I think they were actually meant for the swings. So they should be perfect for uh, when I'm swinging on them. Okay, now we'll get these yellow handles going. Yeah, I know that was a sick cut. You don't have to tell me about it. Scrap wood behind me. Looks like we're going to need probably something to hold it at the other side, like an Allen key, and then just some big type of uh, screwdriver. Then this side looks really easy, but it's going to be basically the same thing. Just unscrew from here, unscrew from here. Then there's our two handles with perfect pull up grip. I'm gonna get this one out of the way first, because it's the easier one. Now, obviously, not much is God's plan here, because I was gonna make a whole entire pull-up stand. I've been thinking about doing this for a while, but I guess it does make sense to um, just connect it into the basement. Done. Yeah, I think all it was is just going in here. So I think what came off this bar is really just a smaller version of what's on this bar. Um, I hope I'm right. This part does look bigger just by a little bit. So I'm guessing it is the bottom bit and holds it in. I had to get help from my dad. This part right here, wouldn't unscrew, so we've had to um, use a metal saw. See, this one was easy. This one was easy. We had to use a metal saw for this one. And, uh, really just cut it clean. But now, we have two of these yellow handles. It took way longer than I thought it would. Now, before I carry on with cleaning up, see these two white bars here? Now they're kind of covered by all this garbage, but those actually might be good for a dip bar. Maybe that'll be a future video, so tell me if you guys want that in the comments below.
We put all of the uh, different scrap that we won't need. These are our uh, three holds. Couldn't get the fourth one to uh, come out, so three we'll just have to do, which is fine. You can still move around on the right. Then we've got the four different kind of spikes for these carabiners to hold up the poles. Then we've got these two handles plus the bolts for only one of them. So we'll go through the scrap and get some more on part two. So I want to thank you guys for um, watching and um, come back for part two. Subscribe for more. Bye. Until next time, this is all we've got. It's just these green holds. They're definitely holder to hold on to because you can see they only hold maybe a few fingers. But yeah, definitely good start.